would like to talk to you a little bit about irrigation. In July is Smart Irrigation Month here in Oklahoma. And in fact, Governor Mary Fallon has proclaimed the month of July to be Smart Irrigation Month. The cities of Oklahoma City and Tulsa have also proclaimed July to be Smart Irrigation Month. And so what is Smart Irrigation? Well, basically, we would like for homeowners to think about how they water their yard. And we want to put the right plants in the right place, choose more drought resistant plants if possible, use mulch in your landscape beds. For your yard, only water when it's needed. If you can tolerate it to turn brown, it's still alive, and give it a water maybe an inch per week, and it's going to be healthy throughout the year, turn green again at the, uh, maybe when rains come in September or in the fall. So today we have a guest with us to talk about some smart irrigation products. Mr. Robert Reeves from Davis Pipe and Supply is here. Hey Justin. Uh, Robert, can you tell us about some of the items you brought for us to look at? Well, I sure appreciate it. I'm, I'm actually uh, representing the uh, Irrigation Association too, the SWAT committee, which stands for Smart Water Application Technology. And I brought several things here I think that um, Oklahoma gardeners can use to conserve water in the landscape. Great. I think one of the easiest, most simplest things you can use if you have an automatic irrigation system is to install a rain sensor and you can get a rain sensor either in this wired version like this Orbit uh, product that shuts off the rain, uh, irrigation system when it rains. Okay. Or you can also get a wireless like this product here. Um, all the major brands have wireless rain-free sensors. This is a Toro, but you can also get it with Rainbird, Hunter, Irritrol, etc. And this will automatically um, turn off the irrigation system in the, if it freezes. If the temperatures get to 37 degrees, it will shut off the irrigation system. So these are relatively cheap, right? But what, what if I don't have a specific brand? Can I still install it on my irrigation system? Absolutely. These uh, rain and freeze sensors um, you can install with any brand of controller. Most of the controllers in the market now have a sensor port. But even if you don't have that, you can still draw, um, put one in and put it into the common wire. Okay, great. Uh, stepping up one notch up, we have what's called a solar sink, and this is a product by Hunter, which is a popular brand that can be installed with any brand of Hunter controller. Now the solar sink, um, this installs next to the controller, like this Hunter X-Core, which is a typical residential controller, and it uses this sensor, which will go up on the gutter of the house, and it has not only a rain and freeze sensor component in it, but it's also got this sensor on the top that measures solar radiation, in other words, sunlight exposure, cloudiness, and it also has temperature. So what it does is you would set this controller for the worst case scenario summer schedule for all your zones, and this, this would decrease the watering schedule by percentages. So this time of the year we might be 100%, 110, but in the fall we might be down as low as 50%. So you could save a substantial amount of water, 25 to 50%. So that's great. This will only water what the plant needs, plus it'll shut off if it's raining. So this is what we're talking about when we say smart irrigation controllers, right? Absolutely. And there, there of course, are others, too, on the market. Um, if you go to the IA's website, uh, which we can show, uh, you can pull up all the different smart controllers on the market. Here's an example of an add-on device called the ET Water Hermit Crab, and you can turn any uh, existing controller into a smart controller, and this has web interface and it receives a signal every day from a weather station to update the watering schedule. There are also products such as um, soil sensors like Toro has okay. a precision soil sensor kit which I think is particularly neat because you can put it in the in the ground it will also sense when freezing temperatures are approaching and that will also save 30 to 70 percent in the water. So we're just watering based on if the soil is wet it's not going to water, and if it's dry, it's going to water, so that's great. Absolutely. Now, what if I don't have one of these uh, automatic irrigation systems? I just have a water hose and a sprinkler in my yard. Is there something I can do? Absolutely. I think there's a, definitely, what we need to do is, is, is install, like, a hose timer. And uh, you may not know exactly how much to water, but if you watch the show enough, you'll know that uh, Bermuda grass needs about an inch of a water, inch a week of water to, do, to survive. You could put out a tuna can which I believe you have information on. Yes, show. we have a, an OSU fact sheet. You can go to our website at thinkwater.okstate.edu and download that information. And what you could do is determine how much, it, how long it takes to get an inch of water and divide that maybe into two waterings a week. And then, then you just would know how many minutes you need to run it. 
Great. So what about these other products you have here? I see you have some uh, irrigation sprinklers and some sort of pipe here. I just want to show some of the basic components of an irrigation system. A lot of times people don't know what to call things when they come in the store. Davis, um, here we have like some four inch pop-up sprays. These are typically for, for lawns and shrub beds. Then we have one that's taller, six inch for um, shrub beds generally. They pop up a little bit higher. And then we have 12 inch pop-ups for really tall. And then right here we have a, a great water conservation tool and this is drip irrigation tubing. And unlike the soaker hoses uh, that people used to buy, you have what's called pressure compensating emitters, kind of a fancy term for same amount of water at the beginning of the line as you get at the end. And you'll put out about 0.4 gallons per hour or 0.9 gallon per hour depending on which um, uh, model you get. This is a great tool. You can even hook this up to a hose and you could use your hose timer with this as well. That's great. Well, thank you, Robert, for giving us this information Thank about you. Smart Irrigation Month here in Oklahoma.